what time it is, man. I say, yeah. what's good, my boy? You chilling? Let's lock in, man. Look, before we get into the video, I do want to say Merry Christmas from mine to yours. Hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. And please comment down below right now. What did you get for Christmas? I want to know what you got for Christmas, all right? Please let me know down in the comment section below. And um, also, uh, Activision sent me like a big, huge gift box with a whole bunch of goodies inside. If you guys want to see me unbox this package from Call of Duty Activision, once again, Call of Duty Activision, thank you for the care package. But if you guys want to see me unbox that, please watch the entire video and it'll be at the end of the video for you guys to enjoy, okay? But in this video right y'all, in this video right here, my boy, we are going over some settings all of my settings for War Zone 3. I know I've seen a lot of people ask for my settings in the comments, so I'm gonna give you guys what you guys want, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and do a whole round now on all of my settings from start to finish. Now, disclaimer, all right? If you're a person that you know just getting started out on Call of Duty or anything like that, I feel like you shouldn't copy anybody's settings from, from like, to the T. I feel like you shouldn't copy anybody's settings to the T. Find out what's best for you, because at the end of the day, you're playing the game. I'm not playing the game for you, okay? So my settings work for me, find the settings that work for you. I'm pretty sure I have a lot of settings that can help you for sure, but find what's more comfortable for you as you play the game, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into, uh, get into the video. Enough rambling, hope y'all boys do enjoy it. Please watch the entire video. I love y'all, please drop a like, comment, subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, y'all boys, so let's go ahead and get into these settings, man. These are my settings for Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, Warzone 3, whatever. We're gonna start off with the controller settings. Now, off rip, I'm gonna tell y'all boys, quick little sponsor, cause I had to, all right? It's my sponsor, I gotta show off my sponsors, right? Boom, the controller that I use is an AIM controller. I will have the link down in the description. Go ahead and check them out. If y'all boys want these AIM controllers, they're extremely, extremely good. They have paddles on the back. It comes with four, but I just used two, so I took the other two off. So if you ever do want to take your paddles off, you definitely can. Uh, actually, actually, let me, let me, let me, give me a second. Let me, let me zoom in on this so y'all boys can see. Boom, right? If y'all boys wanted to, y'all can definitely, you know, add paddles on the back. You can have four. I have four. Like I said, I just took two off. And this is, you can customize it however you want. This is mine. I have a control freak on the right stick and another control freak on the left stick, but this is more of a grip instead of a control freak. And this one is actual control freak, as you can see. It's on the controller and this is just a, just a little grip, that's all. And uh, as you can see, I got my logo right there in the middle, which might get changed real soon. Stay tuned. But this is my custom aim controller. Extremely good controller. Um, if you guys want a discount on your own aim controller, I have a link down in the description. You can use code RTG at checkout, whatever helps you. All right, so that's my controller. That's the controller I use. So my button layout and everything is on default. Okay, so I don't use bumper ping. Uh, I used to play flip. If you don't have um like digital triggers or anything like that, I have digital triggers on mine. So if you don't have any like trigger styles or digital triggers, I suggest turning this on. And the reason why, because you can shoot faster just by pressing the button instead of holding down the trigger. Cause once you, when you push down on the trigger, you have a, like a delayed time until the trigger, like is actually triggered. Does that make sense? And with the button, you just press the button you're shooting. Like it takes a little more time to shoot with the triggers. So I would suggest turning it on and see how you like it. Okay. But, um, like I said, no button layout. I just have everything on default control of vibration off. If you play with vibration on, you're bugging, turn it off. It really, it really messes up your aim. If you have it on, on, and it kills your battery. Like why? Just turn it off. Just turn off the vibration. I promise you, you will see some improvement in your aim. All right. Uh, no trigger effects. Dead put in zones. I have a little stick drift on mine, so I have my right stick on 20. As you can see, like I said, I got a little stick drift on mine, so I just put mine up. If you have like a brand new controller, I would suggest putting this down to as low as possible, maybe like five, three, or maybe even zero. Um, that's for the left stick and the right stick. Uh, the right stick, I would probably just focus on that one more since that's the one that you're aiming with. Uh, so I have mine on 20 and uh, on the left, I have it at 10 and the rest of the stuff is just default, okay? But like I said, it really depends on if your controller has stick drift or not, okay? Now on to the aiming settings. I play on 6.6 and .65 ADS sensitivity. Um, ADS sensitivity is basically the sensitivity of ADS. And so whenever I ADS, uh, it slows down so I can stay on target a lot easier. That's why I try not to hit uh, or try not to miss a lot of my shots. You stay on target way easier, okay? And now as for sensitivity, I truly feel like the lower your sensitivity is, the better your shot is. 
the highest sensitivity. I know there's people out there that plays on 20, like you just want to seem fast to everybody. But like, at the end of the day, bro, you look stupid. And I bet, like, I bet 95% of the time you're missing a crazy ton of shots. You're actually probably not good. All right. But I would suggest playing on something like six, anywhere from like, anywhere from maybe four to nine. That's that's the range I would give four to nine, honestly. But I play on six six and point sixty five uh, ABS sensitivity. All right, and the rest of the stuff is default. I did change my aim response curve type to dynamic. Um, I know there are some people out there that change it to standard. Uh, do not use linear. Latin linear is a really really bad one. But standard or dynamic is extremely good. Those are the best options for the aim response curve type. But I use dynamic. I think that's the best. Um, rest of stuff is on default. Um. Target aim assist, I have that on, on aim assist type I had on, on default. I know there's people out there that use black ops, but I just I just use default. I just don't feel like default is like the sweet spot. Um obviously if you're playing on a controller, if you don't have aim assist on, you're bugging, you're tripping. You're tripping hard. Just put just turn it on. Just turn it on, bro. Everybody and mom would be crying about aim assist for no apparent reason. If it's so broken, just use a controller. Like <laughs> it's as simple as that. If you don't want to use a controller, shut up. Stop complaining about it. So uh, target aim assist on ADS uh, aim assist on default aim assist and I have third person ADS uh, correction type on assist um, I think all that's on really default motion sensor behavior off motion sensor advanced settings have it not touched that at all now we're going to the gameplay settings all right now boom for the automatic sprint I got auto attack sprint auto attack sprint is definitely the best when it comes to warzone uh, multiplayer you don't have to put on automatic attack sprint but on warzone I definitely use automatic attack sprint so I could always be running without even pushing down the button. All right, uh, slide, maintain sprint, have that on, uh, really helps with movement. If you're trying to be a movement guy in Warzone, Resurgence, whatever, definitely have this option on for sure. Um, auto move forward, off, tactical sprint behavior, double tap, ground and mantle on, automatic airborne mantle off, automatic ground mantle slash hang off. This is really up to you. I know sometimes I find myself like, maybe jumping in the middle of a gunfight and I would mantle on something. So that's why I have these off. I don't know if it's like a bug or something, but sometimes when I do be jumping, or like I just do a jump shot, it would make me mantle or some shit that's on the side of me or like behind me, and it's so annoying. I lose gunfights like that, and it's crazy annoying. But um, slide dive behavior, I have it on slide only. Plunger underwater, trigger, parachute, auto deploy, off. Uh, sprinting, door bash on, ledge climb behavior, mantle only. It might be this. Oh no, that ain't that. All right. Uh, ADS uh, behavior hold sprint tactical sprint and focus as a change zoom activation all this is really default honestly I think the only thing that I might have changed is the interact slash reload behavior on warzone I use prioritize interact so when I get to a chest I could just tap the square button that's on a uh, PlayStation for Xbox like it's X but I just tap the square button and it opens up the chest I don't have to hold it holding the button Honestly, it takes up more time. You could be in the middle of gunfire. You can just easily tap the button, open the chest real quick. But you know, if you're running, you gotta hold. This time, you gotta hold the button. It just takes more time. Somebody can already pull up on you. And you'll end up dying. You know what I'm saying? So prior towards in, uh, interact is 100 the best thing for Warzone for sure. Now, if you're playing multiplayer, I think you should do prioritize reload because you can just tap the reload button and then you'll probably hold something to pick up like a munition box or or probably another gun. You know what I'm saying? If you're running prioritize interact and multiplayer. If, if you try to reload, you're tapping this square button, you're probably going to pick up a gun. I think it tastes like you, you're just tapping it. So you're probably going to pick up a gun in the middle of a gunfight when you're trying to reload. So uh, that's probably like uh, the best thing for Warzone for sure. So um, armor plate behavior, apply all. That basically means whenever uh, you uh, apply your plate, you just press um, you just press Y or triangle one time. And it's going to put on all your plates automatically, all of them. So um, if you don't have it on that, you you have to apply one at a time so you gotta keep holding or keep tapping a wire or triangle to keep putting on plates you just press it one time and it'll apply all of it for you okay and if you want to stop that you just press it again and it'll stop you get back into the gunfight um back back control i personally think directional buttons is easier for me um some people just use the stick so they won't have to move their fingers and stuff like that so just find out which one is better for you i personally like directional buttons so just find out what's comfortable for you and um, the rest of the stuff is really uh, default. Uh, the rest of the stuff is really up to you. Now, I know a lot of people like this manual fire behavior. Like, if you're using the burst weapon, the burst weapon, if you put it on hold, you just got to hold the trigger, and it'll burst, like, automatically for you. It'll turn it automatic, basically. But I just use mine on press because it doesn't make that much of a big big deal to me. 
and um like i said the rest of the stuff is really default okay now on to the next which is the graphics setter you get what i'm saying i'm on pc yes i'm on pc i do have a playstation right here um i do play warzone on my playstation here and there but i just i just stick on pc because uh honestly in my opinion the playstation can do everything that this pc can do at 120 frames i know it might not look the same on pc on pc yes the graphics do look a little better not gonna lie and you can get more frames but it really depends on what pc and you know what graphics card and how how your pc is built if you don't have a good pc then honestly i feel like a playstation or a, or the next gen xbox sorry xbox I really, i'm a more of an xbox hitter just letting you know but um playstation xbox could definitely do the same thing the pc can do i know the console does have its disadvantages it really does i'm not gonna lie but i do feel like i can do everything i can on pc with this playstation okay so all my console players trust me i'm on y'all side i love console don't get it twisted all right but so these are the graphic settings for my pc like i said i have a pc now display mode should always be full screen exclusive figure out which uh monitor you're trying to use i use the asus vg24 uh v and um it's 144 hertz monitor uh, display adapter, which is my graphics card, which is the GeForce RTX 3060. Uh, I am looking to update my PC probably, uh, probably around the next Call of Duty because this Call of Duty doesn't run bad uh, on my PC at all. I think it runs pretty good and really solid. So, um, screen refresh rate, always have it on your highest screen refresh rate, 144 is mine. So, display resolution, resolution should be 1920 by 1080, or you can have it on auto, but just try not to pick anything other than whatever your monitor like your max monitor display resolution is uh aspect ratio i have it on automatic um display you have a 2.2 i have my brightness on like maybe 60 yeah i have it on 60 but you can just find out which one works best for you and your computer or your uh, console whatever the case may be all right uh now i have nvidia reflex low latency on plus boost and i think everything else should be default i do not use v sync if you're on a uh, pc never use v-sync because it just doesn't look good <laughs> it just doesn't look good v-sync does not look good at all um and i personally feel like v-sync just um it just makes your game run slower and like a lot of delay and things like that um i do use the custom frame rate limit i have no custom i don't want it to go past 150 because my monitor is 144 hertz so anything over like 150 or 144 is just going to be overkill and sometimes your um like if your monitor can't even show over 144 hertz or maybe it's trying to maybe let's say you're getting maybe 250 frames right <laughs> you're actually you might see the number that you're getting like 250 frames but if your monitor does not support like maybe two like 250 hertz or if your monitor is just like a 60 hertz monitor you're only seeing 60 frames per second from that monitor because your monitor is not capable of you know output in 150 or 144 hertz or 250 hertz um to your like to you it's not going to be able to do that so it's only going to show you 60 hertz so if it as long if, even if you do see the fps at 250 you're honestly only seeing 60 hertz if your monitor only supports 60 hertz okay so that's how that goes so i have mine on 150 because like i said i have 144 hertz monitor so i just have my limit on 150 and um, the menu, I have it on 60, and then out of focus, basically, if I'm tabbed out, it's showing at 30 uh, frame per second, all right? <laughs> Next, on to the quality. Now, for the quality, y'all boys. So the quality, I'm gonna show you guys all my quality settings, but gra for the graphics preset, I have it on custom. I really change everything. Always have your render resolution at 100. 100 is the best. Just keep it at 100. Nothing less, nothing more. Upscaling and sharpening, I have my own Fidelity FX Cast. I know there are some people that use uh, AMD. There are some people out there that use AMD FSR, but I personally don't like. Um, only thing I really use the Fidelity. AMD is okay, but I think it makes it a little blurry, so I don't like that. So I just keep it on Fidelity. Um, and you can change the strength to 90 or 100. I just have mine on 90. Anywhere from 80 to 100 is a sweet spot, okay? Um. The rest of the stuff should be default. Uh, VRAM skill target, I have it on 90. Um, texture resolution, normal. Texture filter, normal. Depth of field, off. Anything that involves blur, turn it off, bro. Why would you want to add blur to your, to your? you know what I'm saying? What? Don't, no blur, no blur. We don't do blur, mm -mm. no blur. All right, depth of field, off. 
Detailed quality level, normal. Particle resolution on high. Bullet impacts on. Persistent effects off. Shader quality low. On-demand texture streaming off. This really helps with a lot of crashes. So if you have this on your uh, PC or console, turn this off. It helps with a lot of crashes, okay? Um, shadow quality low. Screen space shadows off. Ambient occlusion off. Screen space reflections off. Static reflection quality low. Tessellation off. Biometric quality low. Deferred physics quality off, weather grid volumes off, and water quality off, okay? Now, I know all my settings might sound like, dang, bro, your game probably looks like shit. It really doesn't. It truly doesn't. I want my game to look decent, and I want it to run really smooth at the same time so I can play competitively and have that best performance out of my PC. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, definitely try those settings out on your PC. And like I said, I have a 3060. Um... My PC, my PC isn't a beast PC, but it's a good, decent PC. I do a lot with this PC, so uh, I don't have like a beast type of setup PC, but my PC can do things, okay? Now, as for view, uh, field of view, I have mine on 120. I know that the sweet spot for the field of view is anywhere from 110 to 120, okay? Anywhere from 110 to 120 is really the sweet spot for field of view. So just figure out what you want for your field of view. I have mine maxed out so I can have the max mobility. I want to see everything around me. All right, um, ADS field of view affected weapon field of view. I have it on wide third person field of view 90 vehicle field of view default uh, world motion blur off weapon motion blur off anything with blur turn it off film green zero first person camera movement least third person camera movement least third person ADS transition third person ADS spectator. I think this is really default. Uh, inverted flash bangs, I have that on because when I get flash, bro, I don't want my screen to just blast white into my eyes. Because first of all, I got these glasses for a reason. I'm blind. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, I keep my inverted flash bang on, okay? Now, next, we got our audio settings, okay? Now, real quick, I'm going to get to these audio settings, bro. Everybody knows, well, they kind of fixed it. Not going to lie, they kind of fixed it. They, they kind of really fixed up, I'm not gonna lie. So, I know at the beginning of Warzone 3 Season 1, when it first dropped, the audio was just terrible. Nobody could hear footsteps, bro, right? The audio was just terrible. You couldn't hear nobody flying in on you. You could hear nobody pulling up on you at full speed. The audio was just terrible, okay? So, but they just recently fixed that, and I think the audio is way better. And now, I have an audio tune, which is called Art Tune. I have an audio tune, which helps, um it tunes the audio in the game. If you guys want this same exact um, this same exact tune, I can definitely have a link down in the description for a video for you guys to watch so you can guys have the same tune as me. But if you're on console, I'm sorry. Like I said, I know console has its uh it has its disadvantages and uh tuning the audio is definitely one of them. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the well I'm not gonna show you guys, but I'm gonna have a link down in the description for the art tune if you guys want that. And um yeah, so um, boom, for the audio mates, I got PC speaker. I know some people use headphone bass boost and home theater as well. Home theater is actually really good. It just makes it a little quiet, so you might have to crank up your headset just a little bit more, okay? Um, speaker output, Windows default, but if you if you don't have the tune, just put it on stereo. Just put it on stereo. Uh, so my master volume is on 45. Honestly, all this stuff is really up to you. No gameplay music. I don't want no type of music. No war tracks, no cinematic music. Just check, I need that, because you know, I want to hear people's reaction. Effects volume, I have that on 100 so I can hear the footsteps, things like that. Dialogue volume, I have it on 30 because I don't want I don't want Captain Price or now nah, who's the dude that taught you before before you flying in Warzone? What buddy name? Um uh Graves. I don't know why they chose a grave to talk to me, but shit. But I don't want to hear that man yelling in my ear while I'm trying to fight. You know what I'm saying? So turn on turn down the dialogue volume to what you feel uh is fit for you and your headset, okay? Now, voice chat on, all this stuff is really up to you. Uh, of course, I want the voice chat on, all this stuff. All this stuff is really up to you. All of this. All this stuff is really optional. Push to talk, you can have it on open to talk if you want. All this stuff is really up to you. So find out what's best for you. One thing I can tell you to do is to reduce tinnitus sound. Turn that on, okay? Turn that on for sure. Hit marker sound effects, really up to you. And um, yeah, that section is really up to you and your headset. And um, I have a link down in the description for the tool if you guys wanna check that as well. All right, so last but not least, we got the interface settings. Like I said, this stuff is really up to you as well. Um, one thing I can say that I did that helped me out a lot was uh, color customizations. What you can do is go to color customizations and you can scroll down to color filter settings. 
for your color filter you're going to do filter 2 and then you're going to change the color filter target to both and you're going to turn both of these up to 100 just crank it up to 100 your colors are going to be a lot more vibrant and you're going to see a lot more with these color filter settings so definitely change that asap no rocky baby and if you want you can change like the, you know the different colors different things or like your teammates or you know you whatever you want you can definitely change that if you want that's really up to you but i think i just kept my i think the only thing i think was the neutral one it was white i changed it to like a more of a purple type of feel so i can actually see it okay all right and um yeah that's really up to you if you guys want to put down your your hood you can mini map square shape should always be on a square oh well you see a lot more with square okay uh mini map rotation on horizontal contest uh you can turn it on or off if you want i like to have it on the only reason i turn it off is to get a thumbnail a clean thumbnail that's it uh crosshairs on um hand market visuals on all this stuff is really up to you and that's uh basically really it honestly the rest of the stuff is all up to you okay and um that's basically it man that, that's all my settings right now that's all my settings right there y'all boy straight like that man warzone 3 Modern Warfare 3, all of my settings, the best settings to help you improve in Battle Royale, Resurgence, whatever, multiplayer, whatever, baby. You feel me? So, like I said, man, don't copy my settings to a T, but you can definitely copy my settings to get a feel for the game. And you can change a couple things to find out what's comfortable for you, okay? But that's today's video. If y'all boys did enjoy, if you guys did, please drop a like, comment, subscribe if you are brand new to the channel, and please hit that bell so you never miss a video from yours truly. All right, I hope y'all boys did enjoy the video. I'm going to show you guys what Activision sent me in the box. So we're going to do a little opening. and show, I'm going to show you guys everything that they sent me in the box. So I hope you guys do enjoy that. And um, that's basically it, all right? I love y'all. Stay blessed. Stay great. great. I'll see y'all boys in the next one, buddy. Activision sent me a big old box. A big old box. My man Eric with the 47 months tier one. What's going on, my brother? I appreciate you. I love you. Ha, ha, ha. But anyway, right? So boom. Activision just sent me this big old box. Now I don't know if y'all boys jump. I, don't, I mean, I'm not jump. I'm over here reading the chat. But yes, Miguel, we are jumping to Warzone as soon as we open this uh this box right here, right? So I don't know if y'all boys know this or not, but if y'all boys play my everything, all that good stuff, the camo on the box is the zombie camo. I think that's pretty damn dope. It's the Borales camo. I think that's pretty fire. I'm not gonna lie, look at that. That's pretty heat. Off real, right? So Without further ado, is this? So there's stress, there's stress, uh, stress ball coal inside. There's some coal in here, no cap. We got some cards. This one says, "Happy holidays, blau." This one says, "Where you can cook on an urgent stand and meat." Meat is the new multiplayer map. Urgent stand, uh, urgent stand. It's the new war zone map. Bow. Sit back, relax, and get cozy. Bow. All right. Whether you think you've been naughty and deserve some coal. Bow. And I just got some coal. I just look, it's a little stress ball with coal. It's basically coal, right? You're always you'll always be a champion in our eyes. Bow. All right? Welcome home for the holidays. Is it gonna focus? There you go. Bow. All right. What's this? What is this? Mmm. They gave me. They gave me some spices. Like actual like spices that you can cook with. Like, hold on. I'm show you. Hold on. Let me get the season. They're not the season. It's uh. Like it's dead ass. Like seasoning. Like spices and seasoning. Can y'all see that? That's actually kind of fire. Even though, I mean, I ain't no freaking chef. I don't cook like that. i will probably give it to my mama. She'll probably use it for real. Hold up, wait. Look, see that? Superb spices and seasoning. They got Carolina barbecue, honey and herb rub, right? Focus. Cowboy grilling rub. You feel me? Lock in. <laughs> Lock in. Okay. Spice walla. Lock in, okay. But um, when I get something new and it come with bubble wrap, I always take my sweet time opening it. Why? <laughs> because I want to pop the bubbles. You damn right. <laughs> yeah, goddamn right. Huh? 
I'm always gonna pop the bubble, I swear. Always. Mmm, some M&M's, boy! It's custom M&M's, though. What's on it? Hold on, wait. M&M's. Yo, call me. I say you. What's good, my boy? You see that? So m &M, It has somebody's face on one of the M&M's, and I don't know whose face it is. You see that? Uh, block my face. Focus. Is it gonna focus? There we go. Go seize you in your streams. Hmm? <laughs> it's a candy, I smell it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It don't tell me to it don't tell me to it don't tell me the flavor, huh? Ooh. Mmm. They don't tell me the flavor. And it's one of those wood wick candles, too. Last year, they gave us a candle, and it was called Ghost Mellow. I don't... This might be the same one, low-key. Just because it might actually be, because the thing said ghost sees you in your stream. So it might be the same one. Last year it was called Ghost Mellow, like Marshmallow, but it was Ghost Mellow. And that's trying to smell so good. And this is one of those wood wick ones. I don't know if you guys see the little wood, the little wood tip right here. It's going to focus. It's like a little wooden wick right there on the inside. But Call of Duty candles always be fire. So best believe. This joint gonna get lit real soon. <laughs> is this a meat tenderizer? Oh, I get it. Because the new map is meat. They gave us a meat tenderizer. Hold on, wait. Oh yeah, I'm beating my meat tonight. It's a whole Call of Duty meat tenderizer, bro. No cap. No cap. No cap. No cap. Wait, wait. Right here. No cap. Look at that. No cap. Block my face. Look at that. A whole Call of Duty meat tenderizer, bro. I was about to slap the shit out of my desk. I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> I'm about to beat the fuck out of my desk just now. I ain't gonna do that. Let me chill out. <laughs> let, me, let me chill out. Let me chill out. This is fire, though. Ow. But wait. There's more. I'm guessing this is like a passport type of ordeal. Honestly, I can I can just keep this, right? Can I not just keep this if I decide to fly the country and put my little shit up in here? I can keep this. I'm gonna keep this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so, so we got this little book, right? This little book, right? Hold up. And this little book has a boarding pass. I guess you could call it a little, uh, like a little, uh, what you call it? Like a freaking passport type of book. And it came with uh, this little, this is the gunship from uh, Warzone that you're flying in. Little gunship ordeal. And we got a boarding pass from Rust to Urgentan. First class, by the way. I don't ever see that. First class, by the way. Do y'all see that? First class, by the way. Get right. Oh, my, I'm flying first class out here, baby. <laughs> Look. Some Modern Warfare 3 mitts, man. You see it. You see it. Some Modern Warfare 3 cozy socks. Little logo right there. Lock in. You see me. I ain't done. Oh, it's a whole apron. It's a Modern Warfare 3 apron, y'all boy. It's a Marvel 3 apron, y'all boy. Hold on. I'm about to put this on because I'm really about to cook shit. It was on tonight. <laughs> tonight. You heard what I said. Tonight. You heard what I said. Hold on. Hold on. You see me? Oh, oh, by the way, this from last year, y'all boy. Y'all see that shirt? This from last year. Hmm? And I still got it. 
Love Modern Warfare 3 blanket? Scar? No, Scar. This look like a Scar. This look like a Scar. What does it say? Cashmere. Wrap yourself in luxury with 100% cashmere from Inner Mongolia. Mm. Care for it well and it will give you lasting comfort. Hey, yo. So is this a blanket? Oh, no, it is a blanket. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cashmere. I'm not gonna lie, this the way this shit feel though. This shit feels so good. The quality in this is fire. A Chi Charge Trio. Desktop smart cup and wireless charger. Desktop smart cup and wireless charger. Listen to that. Desktop smart cup. Nigga, I ain't even know cups could be smart. What the fuck? Wireless charging cold hot. So does it like, does it keep your drink like warm or cold? Cooling and heating. I think it literally just keeps your drink like cold or hot. And you can charge your phone on it at this. Bro, what the fuck? Two Modern Warfare 3 ornaments, right? 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 And on the back of them, Price and Makarov. Oh, that's probably what's on the M&M's. So it's probably Price and Makarov M&M's, low key. That's fire. And these are ornaments you can put on the tree. I don't know who at Activision be thinking of all this stuff with the mailers and 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 whatever. I don't know who be thinking of these ideas, but it's always a hit. It's always fire. Always. No joke. But um shit. Hey, Activision called these, man. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. My room's a mess now though, but I really do appreciate it. No joke.